since there are different number of arcs now that we have defined an arc to be a part or piece of a circle let's see the possible number of arcs for a circle this session is about investigating the possible number of arcs for a circle So let's take a circle to investigate the possible number of arcs. Imagine I have a circle out here with its center. Now let me take a pizza cut in different shapes. Say I cut this out here and I cut a bigger piece out here and I cut totally one, two, three, four. So I have totally four pieces which are cut for the pizza. So I have the piece number one, which is out here. And piece number two, which is out here. And piece number three and then the piece number four so totally I have pizza number one two three and four pieces so let's investigate each of the piece so the first piece which I cut let me take the endpoints a B and for the second to be C D and the third to be EF and the fourth to be GH. Now each of the endpoints are taken for the pizzas pieces with the first piece with endpoints AB, second piece with endpoints CD and third piece with endpoints EF and the fourth piece with endpoints GH. So I have totally four pieces of the pizza. So in this case I see the length of this arc on the outer face is AB, CD, EF and then here the length of arc is GH. So each of the arcs have different lengths this being AB, CD, EF and GH. So there are different possible lengths of arcs which can be identified in a circle. If I cut the pizza into 100 times, I get different number of pieces with different lengths of arcs. So my outcome here is that conclusion, there are infinitely many lengths of arcs for the given circle. There are infinitely many lengths of arcs for the given circle. Different arcs for different lengths of pizzas, different pieces of pizzas is how we investigate that depending on the size of the pizza piece, the length arc changes. Bigger the pizza piece, bigger it is its length of arc. Smaller the pizza piece, smaller is its length of arc. Is how we understand the length of arc and the possible number of arcs for a circle with the conclusion that there are infinitely many lengths of arcs for the given circle and all arcs are not of same length they are of different sizes so the lengths of arcs can be of different lengths 
is how we conclude through the arc and the circle. Now that we have defined the arc and the possible number of arcs in a circle, we have come to the conclusion in the previous case of different pieces of the pizza that as the size of the pizza differs, the length of its arc differs. Therefore, we connect the previous concept with the session which is major arc and minor arc. This session is about major and minor arcs for a circle. minor and major arcs. So let's see the definition in brief. So let me take a circle in order to understand the two basic definitions for a circle. So let's see how we can understand the minor and major arc. Imagine I take this pizza and cut it into two pieces such a way that I take the knife and cut it from the center of the pizza, slicing towards this. And I cut this, slicing towards this. Then when I remove this pizza out, I get two different sets of pizzas in this manner. So I get a pizza Which is this and I get another set of pizza which is so here I have two pieces of pizza which are obtained when I slice it in the center now as I see these two slices of pizza what is that I observe is the biggest question out here so clearly I see that this pizza has a very big length of the arc. This is also an arc. But these two arcs have a wide difference. That is, this is bigger in size and this is smaller in size. Therefore, any arc which is bigger in size is called major arc. And the arc which is smaller in size is called minor arc. So here comes which is called minor arc and this which is called major arc because this is bigger in size and this is smaller in size. So let's try to make the conclusion which says the arcs which make out the bigger and smaller The longer arc of the circle is called major arc. And the smaller arc of the circle is called is called minor arc so this is how we define the two basic arcs in the circle the major arc and the minor arc the longer arc of the circle is called major arc the smaller arc of the circle is called minor arc is how we understand the relation between two arcs of the circle and major and minor arc. Major arc, the longer arc of the circle, 
minor arc, the smaller arc of the circle. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.